Welcome to the highest point in Greece, a peak famed as the Acropolis of the Gods. In this video, I'll take you with me as I explore Mount Olympus and share everything you need to know before attempting it yourself. Hey, I'm Sam, and this is Izanya. Welcome to our channel. We come from different sides of the world, but both share a love for travel. Follow along with our latest adventures and make sure to subscribe. For many, the journey to Mount Olympus starts at Greece's closest major city, Thessaloniki. From there, the best way to access the park is by renting a car and driving around 100 kilometers south to the trailhead parking lot, named Prionia. It's also possible to grab a bus headed in the direction of Litochoro, the village at the base of the park, and then find a taxi to take you up the mountain to the trailhead lot. I chose the latter. Since I'd be splitting the climb up into two days, there was no need to rush. This was the perfect time to sit down, enjoy a cappuccino at a terrace in town, and anticipate the journey ahead. The driver and I chat about his difficulties with the current price of diesel, tourism in Greece, and tactics for conquering the famed Mitticus Peak. After what felt like a couple minutes, we arrive at the trailhead. I hop out of the taxi, hand over 30 euros to my new friend, and look up at the mountain that has captured my imagination for the past few years. On the way up, I encounter plenty of evergreen trees and a nicely marked pathway. An hour into the hike, emerging from the forest, I meet the harsh sun and a snaking path up the mountain, giving promise to the refuge being near. Wow, incredible. So at this point, I'm about 80% of the way to the uh, first refuge, Refuge A, and then I'm gonna uh, sleep there for the night uh, have some spaghetti bolognese, their specialty apparently, and then uh, head up to uh, the top, the tippy top, uh, tomorrow morning. So it's going well. It's been about uh, two hours so far into the hike, and uh, it's not too hard. It's just really hot, and this massive bag of about 12 kilos definitely doesn't help. But other than that, it's uh, yeah, it's going well. It's beautiful up here. Arriving in exhaustion, I throw my bag down and admire the sea view from all the way up. Quickly sorting my accommodation with the staff, I secure one of their 110 bunks for the night, costing only 18 euros. This refuge is strangely known for their spaghetti bolognese, so I ordered that along with a Greek salad and some bread. The food did not disappoint and all of this came out to only 16 euros. Really not too bad considering it's on a mountain with no roads and all the supplies are brought up by horse. The refuge is well stocked with a variety of foods, snacks, and drinks, all payable by cash or card. As I wake up the next morning, many of the other climbers are already out the door. Taking my time, I enjoy the standard refuge breakfast. This includes a hard-boiled egg, jam, bread, and coffee. The route to Scala is a great deal of cardio. This involves traversing ridges of the mountain with long portions of moderate uphill hiking. The estimated time from Refuge A to Scala is around two hours. So I didn't bring any poles on this trip, but these would have been invaluable for taking the strain off my calves and thighs. Now Scala Summit is only 30 minutes away and Mitticus another 30 from there. Finally, I make it to Scala and I'm greeted by multiple other groups. Luckily for me, many other hikers either stop at Scala or take a break and gather the group before attempting Mitticus. In an effort to beat the crowds and maintain my own safety, I jump ahead and venture down the narrow chasm alone to begin the summit push to Mitticus. Until this point, the Mount Olympus climb was very much non-technical. However, this cannot be said for the final portion. Rated a YDS Class 3 rock scramble, this section is very steep with necessary use of handholds. It's also recommended that climbers use a rope. The path had been previously marked by climbers, so by following that route, it should technically be safe. Because it was mid-August, even the peak had temperatures of around 20 degrees. There was no need for a coat today. And as I worked my way closer and closer to Mitticus, I took a moment to appreciate the beauty of these unique rock formations. This summit could really be done in one day, but it would be wise to stay an extra night to take full advantage of this stunning park. At 8.57, two hours after departing the refuge, I make it to the top of Greece at 2,918 meters. It felt pretty cool being the highest person in the country, even if it was just for a few minutes. 
After enjoying the moment and waiting for the gods to return my call, it was time to head down and return before the other group started making their way up the ridge. This is one of the few summits I've done, and I would say that it is a great entry-level climb, from the beautiful national park to the refuge experience and the intimidating final push to Mitticus, Olympus offers an awesome jumping off point for anyone looking to get into mountaineering. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments and I'll make sure to help out as best I can. Thanks for watching.